Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, in this video, we are continuing our React.js e-commerce with Laravel API series. And now guys, we are on the category list where we are going to delete this category data. Okay. So guys, let's move to this view category page and go to this delete button. So let's move to our React app. So guys, this is our view category where the table row design with the delete button is given here guys and now on this delete when i click this delete button the data should get deleted from here and from your database also okay so from your database okay so let's get back and yep guys so first on this delete button let's use on click function so on click is equal to open and close curly brace where event of your delete category function where you are going to tell the event and your item of id so let's copy this and just move below this effect constant delete open and close bracket of arrow function and whatever the data event and the id so let's get event comma id and this event will be used for prevent default so it will help not to reload the page create a variable const this collect is equal to event dot current target okay target semicolon I just I'm using this for to change the inner text inner text is equal to as deleting let's save so let me just show you a demo for this let's get back so let's click on this you can see that it's showing deleting right so after deleting let's make it to deleted or remove the complete row okay so for that sake i made this because we will not be knowing what's happening so at least we'll know it's deleting and now let's use axios to send the request we will use delete method dot then function response of your event okay so let's create an API over here backtick forward slash API forward slash delete hyphen category forward slash dollar open and close and you are getting this ID so pass that ID over here perfect so with this you are not going to send any data and all and once it is success means you'll be checking over here response dot data dot status is triple equal to 200 which means success then you are going to use swell that is sweet alert to show the message okay so let's tell success where you will get response dot data dot message this will be success okay so once it's done this clicked dot the closest CLOSCST closest function of your table row table row TR remove function okay so this TR will search for this TR and remove its data okay so this will remove if you delete for this it will delete this row okay let's get back else if if anyone messes with the id so response dot status dot triple equal to 404 you will tell the message copy and paste and this inner text will make it to delete okay all set guys so let's copy this path and go to your laravel app and create a route so route colon colon delete function okay and create the route with the id you are sending so why are we using this delete 
because you have used over here axios okay so paste that and yep guys let's go to the controller let's copy this controller and paste and make this to destroy copy and go to your controller and create a function guys a simple public function function name destroy where dollar category it is right so dollar category is equal to your category model colon colon find function dollar id this dollar id you will get from this destroy okay and now if use if condition if this true then you are going to set the status so let me copy 200 and the data over here messages you can send category deleted successfully else if the id is not found so at that time you can show this message as 404 our uh, category id not found okay so to the de category deleted successfully so guys to delete this so let's copy this and give in a condition with the delete function so this will delete your data okay so this data will be deleted and then shown the category deleted successfully let's get back to our react app and everything is fine here guys and now let's get back to our browser once refresh guys so cache may not be there and now let's click to delete so i'm going to delete with laptop device click to delete deleting and it's category deleted successfully click ok let's refresh and see guys whether data is there or not perfect so guys you can see that data is deleted let's go over here so let's refresh this database you can see that laptop is deleted so guys we have successfully completed how to delete the data using react hooked in with laravel api so guys let's continue next video with the new topic of subcategory that is nothing but your brands and then with your products so thank you once again please subscribe like and share